Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In our last introduction to Android Screencast, we looked at what happens when the user interacts with your user interface. So they click a button, or they might change one of the controls or something like that. That causes the activity to begin to run, to do something. Now we're going to look at the flip side. So how does your activity update the user interface in ways that are appropriate? You might want to indicate to the user that you finished doing something. You might want to display something on the screen based on one of their actions. You might want to warn them that there's some sort of long running task that's going on that they need to wait for. Um, so we'll look at a couple of different examples of how to do this. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're, we're looking at our example app here. And as we remember, it has a couple of different buttons. This is an open file button. This is one that's supposed to start the camera. Um, I'm going to take one of these. So I'm going to take the open file button. And I'm going to remove the normal action that the app would take at that point, which is to open a file or launch the open file dialog. And instead, I'm just going to leave in the log message. And we'll use this as our playground to look at different ways that we can modify the UI. OK, so I'm rebuilding and running the app on the device. And now let's make sure this is working. OK, so every time I click the open file button, I see the log message, but nothing else happens. All right, so for our first example, let's change some of the text on the screen. And this is kind of a neat thing we can do. So the first thing we need is we need a UI element that we're going to modify. And it turns out, in this particular example, that I already have one in mind. So I'm going to go over to my um, layout, close this. And what you'll see is that there is this text box right here that's called Photo Caption. Its ID is Photo Caption. And right now, this text box is hidden. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to both change its contents and cause it to be visible. OK, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get a handler to that text box. And I have some uh, example code down here that we've provided you. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is called a text view. I'm going to grab, I'm just going to cut and paste this piece of code up here into my click handler. I'm going to grab that text view. And my ID here is not JSON result. It's image uh, caption, photo caption. There we go. OK. So now I have the element that I'm going to modify. And now I can do things like this. I can say text view dot text, or set, I think it's set text. And let's say hello. Let's set the text of that element to be hello. OK, so we'll try this. Let's run it again. Once my app fires up, I'm going to click this, my open file button. And huh, OK, so I don't see anything. The reason is that this text view is currently not visible. It's been set to be invisible since I didn't want it to be visible until I had some text to put it in. So let's um, do this. Uh, so view.visible. Yes, there we go, visible. View.visible. So I'm both going to set its text to be hello, and I'm also going to set it to be visible. We'll restart our app. is the slowest part of the process by far. OK. So now, look at that. So now I have modified the UI. It's pretty cool. OK, so there's one example of how to do this. Uh, let's look at some other ones. So Android has some nice tools that you can use to deliver certain types of dialogues. Um, one of them is called Toast. So I'm going to use this right now. So Toast is one of the UI libraries that's pretty useful. Because what it does is it um, displays a message in a way that if you have used an Android device, you are probably familiar with. So this is the syntax of this call. It's called make text. I provided my application context, a message to display, and then a length that that message is going to um, 
linger on the screen. And then once I've created that, I chain the call to show so that that appears on the screen right away. So let's check out what happens now. Again, if you have used an Android device, you will probably be familiar with the dialogue that we are about to see. Okay, so let's open up our app. Check that out. So it's down here at the bottom. Um, and then the nice thing about it, it also vanishes. So this is great for sort of error messages, any sort of alert you want to throw up to the user saying, hey, something failed or I wasn't able to do what you wanted. Uh, it only sticks around for a minute and then it vanishes and the library takes care of putting it in the right spot on the screen. Okay, so let's do one last um, thing. So. I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the same syntax here uh, to grab another one of my UI elements. So if you go over to my UI, you'll see that down here I have a couple of image views and they're blank in the uh, UI Explorer. And the reason for that is they are invisible. So if you look down here, it says visibility is set to invisible. So what I'm going to do is I'm when this button is clicked, I'm going to make the photo of my dog visible. Great. Okay. One more time with my emulator. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, so this is just you know a, a small, short introduction to the type of different ways that you can modify the UI. And if you look throughout our application, you'll see this being done. So here's a case where I'm setting a progress bar to be invisible. Um, here's a case, let's see here. Um, more of these go down here. So there's an example here of how to launch a dialog. So when I start the download file, uh, when I click the download file button, I actually build this dialog with a cancel button and an OK button. And so you can use this as an example of how to do that. Um, there, let's see here. Um, when I finish processing the image, this is where you're going to add some of your code for this MP. There already what this is doing is it's setting one of the text elements on the display to a formatted string that reflects the size of the image and its format. Um, so, you know, so if you go throughout this MP, what you'll find is that there are some examples of how to modify. Here's an example of using a toast, the UI that you can use and you can build off of if you want to make more UI modifications and as you work on your final project.